Hey there! In this video, I'm going to show you the first violin part to La Negra. If you need the sheet music, click the link down below. Don't worry, I'm not trying to sell you anything or get you to follow all of my pages, anything like that. It's a PDF document, you just click it, download it, and it's yours. Nothing else. I'm going to break this up into three parts. I recommend getting the first part really, really solid before you move on to the next part. And then after you learn the second part, make sure you have those first two parts really nice and solid before you move on to the final section. Let's get started. So right from the beginning, we're starting off forte, start on the string. And use all of your bow, okay? If you start from the air, you're not always gonna catch the string. You might get some sort of weird squeak. So if you start on the string, 99% of the time you'll get a big sound. Try to connect the first few notes. All right, we don't wanna stop. Connect. Now hold the first B. Not short. Now be careful with the rhythm on the dotted eighth, sixteenth. I'm gonna reference the metronome. You don't want the eighth notes too straight. But we don't want them uh, too caballito, too dotted. Okay. There has to be a balance in between those two. So find the right balance, not too strict and square, but not too caballito. So let's do it one last time from the beginning and we'll keep going to letter A. Ba. that much so on the short notes on the eighth notes you'll notice there's a line dot so a dot would just be almost like a pick we want a little value but not too long okay so again somewhere in between not too short but not too long and right at letter a Put some vibrato on that note. Okay, so letter A. Got it, one more time. Some groups do a chromatic. If your director wants it like that, just add in the A sharp. Or your group plays it like that, there you go. Okay, moving on. Measure 21. Vibrato on that note. Next part. 28. So we shift to third position where your third finger normally goes. Now your first finger goes there. And we can check intonation with the open A string. Okay. So put the fourth finger down. 
There's a note. D. Nice and slow. 28. One more time. Next part. One more time, that same part. Again, 28. Okay, and then it repeats. Moving on. Measure 34, nice and slow. Let's put that all together from 28. Third position. One, two, three. And that's the end of the first section. All right, next section. Letter C. We already know the rhythm. Not too square and not too caballito. I like to use, I like to start in third position, so I'll use my second finger, but you can use your fourth finger if you want. So here we go, let her see. Again, those two parts. Next part. Okay, be careful with that rhythm. Make sure to hold the quarter notes and give them vibrato. Okay, one more time that part. That part again and keep going. Okay, that little apostrophe right there is a retrace so that we can get back to the front. So let's put that all together for the six for seventy. Measure fifty-eight. One, two, three. Cool. Next part. Lower, <clears throat> measure 77. Okay, the last note of 79, make sure to use fourth finger. You don't want to be crossing the strings more than you have to. Again, measure 77, eighth notes, a little bit faster. One, two, three, one. Okay, so let's play through that. 
start at measure 69 right on the eighth notes 69 beat 2 1 2 3 1 Grace note comes before the beat. One, two, three. Two, three. Two. Not on the beat. One, two, three. Okay, before the beat, and then make sure you accent the dotted half note. Measure 90 is the trickiest rhythm. You have to give the quarter note its full value. Think of the subdivision, the two eighth notes, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, measure 90 is one of the parts where the violins fall apart with the harmonia. So you have to think of the subdivisions. First get the notes, listen to how the rhythm fits in with the harmonia. Use a good amount of bow and vibrato. Okay, that's the end of the second part. All right, third and final part. You come in after the coro, and we already know this part. Letter F, there's a lot to talk about. First, let's get the notes. So try not to let your fingers fly up too much. I know sometimes I have that bad habit, but especially on the second chord, if you leave your first finger down, Right, the third note will be ready to go. You can lift it a little bit, but try not to let it fly up like that. Because then it's costing you more work. It's more trouble than it's worth. Last time, notes, letter F. So we got the notes, and now I want to talk about the bow and the sound. We want to hear the note rather than just too much scratch, okay? Yes, it's aggressive, but you have to figure out how much pressure to put because you don't want to hear just scratching, but it's also not pretty. It's not piano either, okay? Three things. You have to figure out how much pressure to put down. You have to think where you're putting the bow closer to the bridge. You might not get the best sound right in the middle or closer to the fingerboard. Too close to the bridge won't work. Too close to the fingerboard 
is too mellow. That's not the sound we want. So somewhere in between is the sweet spot. And the last thing is how much bow you're using. If you're just gonna use a little pick, you might not get the sound you want. Think maybe about this much bow, okay? So it's a lot to think about, but you need to check on those three things so that you can get the best sound. Here you go, letter F. Uh, one, two, three. Make sure, at 142, make sure you stay close to the lower half for all of those retraces. Okay, you can't really retrace at the tip or middle. Now you're gonna take away from the sound. So be closer to the lower half. Measure 150. We found that perfect rhythm, right? Not too straight, not too caballito. Give that last note a little vibrato. Let it ring. In the end, try to get your bow on the string so we can get that perfect sound that we were talking about. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until then, see you next time.